Well, concerns about advertising and cord cutting have been weighing on media stocks. Time Warner's earnings yesterday sparking concerns as its Turner division reported a 2% drop in advertising revenue. That's its weakest first quarter ad growth in years, raising some red flags for the rest of the media industry that ad pricing and growth may not be enough to offset ratings declines. Then this morning, Viacom reported a 1% decline in ad revenue, and CEO Bob Backish acknowledged some softness in subscriber numbers. He also addressed the threat of skinny bundles saying that some of the company's most popular channels are included only in Charter's most expensive tier for new subscribers. This is Moffat Nathanson posted a study showing that the pay TV business posted its worst first quarter ever, losing 762,000 subscribers. Now He says if you account for additions from skinny bundles, such as Sling TVs, Craig Moffat says the pay TV business still lost about half a million subscribers. It's not that these customers are leaving and going to virtual over the top players, because those guys were weak too. Um, and so the content category was also down by about a percent and a half. Oh. And remember, for any individual content player, they're, they're doing worse because they're not included in every one of these packages. Right. Those shares are bouncing back a bit today. Over the past week, Viacom shares have lost about 15%. Fox and CBS both down about 5%. Disney down around 4%. And Comcast down about 3%. Now, yesterday, I moderated a panel at the Milken Forum, and both CBS CEO Les Moonves and Fox Networks Group CEO Peter Rice said they're both very bullish on the advertising market. So we'll have to see what CBS, Fox, and Disney report in their earnings over the next week, starting with CBS After the Bell today. Carl, over to you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.